Hello and good morning. This is such a lovely day and I'm so happy to be able to share with you the August garden tour. I live just outside of Toronto and this is a zone five garden using the USDA ratings or a zone 6A, 6A, B uh, garden using the Canadian ratings for uh, hardiness. Uh, this is a very special day. This is the day of the wedding rehearsal here at the house and tomorrow my son gets married. We are so happy for the union of this amazing couple and this garden is part of the event in just saying that you know we're hosting a big barbecue here today and I am delighted to have so many wonderful people coming to visit the garden uh, and celebrate this wonderful day. So let me take you on a tour of the garden. Uh, there are still a few things that we need to do today. So you'll see that lying around. It's just that last minute tidy up as we get things prepped and then everything will look great. But you can see right away that this is already looking spectacular. I mean, it's just so lush and lovely. Um, I'm absolutely delighted and we did lighting last night so uh, I can't show it to you right now because it's obviously the daytime but know that these obelisks here uh, glow um, the candles uh, or those lanterns they have little mini lights in them I've put them at the top of the umbrella as well and I'll try to throw in a couple of photos of what it looks like at night uh, so you can see that because it is quite beautiful but unfortunately this camera doesn't take great night photos so they'll be a little bit blurry but at least it'll give you an idea so as I walk over here let me just pause for a moment and uh, move the camera down so you can see how great the succulent arrangements worked out the one here on the um, here that one is going to be used for the wedding it just needs a quick little cleanup so it can go to the venue uh, this afternoon and this one here will be put into another spot it's not that I don't like it there it's just that this spot here is going to be a drink station and I'm gonna have some beautiful um, metal containers and old uh, beautiful uh, pails filled up with uh, drinks so it's gonna look really good and then over here our garden has just filled in lovely. I've actually trimmed these uh, Vista Supertunias twice already. It's a good idea to trim them. They do look better. Over here, <clears throat> you can see that the uh, herbs have come in quite nicely. And all of these little arrangements here look so good. these ones so pretty <clears throat> the uh, beautiful little vines here have filled in exceptionally well that is Thumbergina and I also have lighting all through that as well so it's gonna light up at night and you can see the lights here they're just Christmas lights but they're hardwired and it's uh, they're very an old set and I love the way that they look they're kind of like Edison bulbs but they're just really an older set down here looking pretty good <clears throat> I did a very uh, aggressive amount of bloom trimming the other day hoping that I would get a new flush of blooms uh, these have been absolutely abundant these geraniums with flowers and you can see that there are some new ones coming in but I think I was maybe a little too aggressive so I'm a little disappointed in uh, how how I over trimmed thinking I would get better uh, results and I used a different fertilizer with a, a bloom it's called a bloom fertilizer and that means that the middle number uh, of the three numbers on your fertilizer that was the highest and I haven't seen any more success matter of fact I would suggest using the regular one I was using before to get more blooms so um, kind of disappointed with that over here let me just uh, share with you the fountain the fountains looking pretty darn good and I don't know if you can see it but I actually have really pretty lighting and it 
And then just moving over to this little arrangement down here. These two have come in just beautifully. Look at that, it's lovely. And here's the herb tower, looking good. <clears throat> so let's just walk over to the backyard here. Give you a better look how everything has come in. The um, incredible hydrangeas have been glorious. They do have some browning. Uh, that's happening right now but they are going to look just perfect for today no one's going to worry about those type of details and look at all these beautiful flowers back here that uh, yellow flower that you see is called rudipikia or black-eyed susan and it is a volunteer for those spots and i couldn't have painted that picture better really sometimes nature does a better job than all our efforts the uh, Gara is still spraying out of these and looking just beautiful in these arrangements. Look, surprise, surprise, surprise. I have um, all of these beautiful violas still here as well as the pansies. I gave them a hard trim and they've come back quite nicely. You can see here my daisies are looking really nice. Maybe I'll trim off one that doesn't look as good. The feature pot here is looking amazing a little less blooms right now there's a whole crop just about to come out like I was hoping today maybe it will with the Sun that we're gonna get but uh, I'm a little disappointed in in the fact that there's not as many blooms on it as I would like but I still think it looks pretty amazing and look at that mandevilla it's growing right up the obelisk like I'd hoped and if I just uh, come over here so you can see how pretty the archway looks as well. Beautiful. What I'm loving is I can see that there's some new blooms coming here on the top of this Spanish lavender on both sides. Again, hoping that that would be today, but um, I will feel very grateful for what we have right now because uh, it's pretty spectacular. Over here, you can see that the back is looking amazing as well. Here's our nice little deck. And yes, we did have some rain last night, unexpected. So I was glad I brought the cushions in. Uh, but it's looking pretty good. Um, at the back here, you can see all of the arrangements. And the little Zen garden here is still looking pretty good. And then last month, I also picked up on clearance some angel wing begonias, which are fantastic uh, if you have planters that you don't like to water that often. And they just uh, do really well, it seems, in any environment. So I've put them in these potter pots and I think they look great. Um, over here, the Hosta Garden is doing pretty good. And then I also bought some and just put them into little black pots so that if I wanted some instant color, I could move them. But in fact, I actually just like them here on the steps uh, into this corner. Over here, you can see that there's another arrangement with those begonias. This new hosta garden that we created is looking really good. We've put some torches in the back here to give some extra lighting tonight. And then over here, these hostas are still looking really nice. Was hoping that I would get more of a show from, I'm just gonna wait for that plane. Was hoping I'd get more of a show from those impatients, but you know, got to live with what you get sometimes and uh, again feeling pretty grateful for all we have um, I've got some this is solar lighting and that's going to light up at night and there's also a light here at the top of this piece that also lights up at night so let's just uh, go into the rest of the garden so I can show you how it all has come together Okay, so over here, uh, we've had an abundance of apples 
and I always feel bad because I'm not sure what to do with them because there are worms in them and this year was such a good crop and I just didn't have time to do anything with them and I feel awful about that so uh, I've got to get better at figuring out how to manage the supply of the apples that we get. This is such a pretty little arrangement over here. I do really like it. We actually put in uh, some brand new mulch. We did some aggressive weeding in this area and I think it looks just so much better. You can see all of the mulch goes right to the back and it just cleans that whole area up a lot better. And well, my husband will come out here. He's gonna pick up all the apples and the plums that have fallen and do one final grass cutting so that it just looks great. These balls over here, I have lights all in them. And last night they were just beautiful, beautiful, uh, the way that they were glowing. Again, I'll try to throw in a picture for you. And over here you can see how it all looks from the other angle. A little harder with the sun coming through there, but trust me, it is a beautiful display. Here's all of the lamb's ears that we cut back. They've come in quite nicely. There's still some gaps and some holes. If I have time today, I might pick up some white mums and throw them in there. As we come across here, I put in another begonia in these arrangements. They had uh, some tuberous begonias which passed away or died. And uh, I was happy to put in these angel wing begonias because they are, they are troopers. And again, this also has lighting through it. As I walk you over here, I'm very, very happy with the way that the patients have all come in. These ones are really nice. Clearly, it's a matter of getting enough sun because this one, these ones have a, an abundance of blooms and the one right around the corner does not. I am extremely delighted with the way that all of my tomatoes have performed. I've had so many amazing, nice little cherry tomatoes. Uh, we've already had one orange one, and then we have a ton of these really nice beefsteak ones that are ripening up. Of course, I can't go by here without showing you how good all of our little baby succulents are looking. I cleaned up this whole pathway here was actually almost all under grass and uh, was very slippery the other day when I stepped on it in the rain and uh, wiped out. So I'm just gonna walk slowly to show you. Uh, as we come into this garden here, the Tough Stuff hi uh, Mountain Hydrangea here has finished up and uh, I love the way that the blooms are multicolored. They start off with uh, a one shade of pink, go into a darker pink and then fade into this beautiful blush color. The arrangement right here is looking good and you can see up on the deck all of the arrangements up there as well. This is a cut leaf black, uh, black leaf elderberry. It's looking really good. We trimmed it back and these are uh, little lime hydrangeas. Beautiful. There's two of them in there. Looking good. Just in time for the big event. And as I take you through the rest of this little pathway, um, you can see that it has more of these rutabicchia filling in the pathway. Did some major trimming through here and stuff grows and falls into place very quickly. Um, <clears throat> here is one of the little front yard arrangements. Look how beautiful that turned out. And let me just show you the front. So let me just show you some of the beautifulness here on the front here. I have all of these beautiful little succulent arrangements that have come in very, very nicely and the displays of flowers also look really good. Could they be better? Yes, they could.
Do I have control over nature's um, timing that it's going to decide when things bloom? No, I don't. So I'm just going to live with what we have here and be delighted with the beauty that is uh, all around us. Here's the, uh, this is uh, autumn uh, or a sedum called Autumn Joy. And you can see how it all works together. So let me just uh, finish off the tour by walking you around the sides. Look at how pretty this looks. Let's see if I can get the camera to just behave. And we have all of the hostas here are blooming quite lovely. It's such a pretty little purple flower. Look how pretty that is. What I love about hostas is that they uh, bloom at all different times. So one final look here. Uh, I've actually painted all my railings. Um, this baby's come in nicely, but these ones here are actually going to get packaged up and they're going to be going to the wedding. Uh, venue this afternoon. This arrangement is looking mighty, mighty fine. Very happy with that. And if I can just show you how good these ones on the side here have turned out. Here we go. Just a quick little tour of each of these ones. These are the ones that are going to the wedding venue. They're um, going to be put in moss and then they'll sit on a table on a slab of wood. And I do have another little project that I'm going to be working on shortly. So I'm pretty excited about that. And here is the amazing aloe that's been growing. So let's just finish off the tour here. Show you how things are looking. Oh, sorry. There we go. <clears throat> Show you how things are looking. There's that Rudabikia. And as we come into the yard, it's looking pretty good. So I have a long list of things I need to get going on <clears throat> to make this day happen, including making food for the barbecue and uh, watering all the plants and just doing a little bit of trimming on a few things that you probably saw as we walked through the video that you're like, Ooh, why is that sitting out there? Or why are those plants doing that? So <clears throat> I know no one else is gonna notice it. My husband thinks I'm a little over the top and maybe I am, but I know that my son and my future daughter-in-law will appreciate all of the effort and I am just so delighted to be able to host the event and be part of the celebrations. All right, everybody, have a beautiful August. Uh, have a wonderful uh, start to September so everybody goes back to school. Uh, and I will check in again with another garden tour. If you like the garden tour, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you want to see how the garden evolves month after month, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for all your kind comments. I really look forward to sharing the garden with you every month. Take care now.